Hello everybody, Action Figure Expert here, bringing to you another review. Uh, this time it's uh, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Quicksilver figure. Quicksilver, aka Pietro Maximoff, made his first appearance in X-Men number 4, back in 1964. And he was actually part of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, believe it or not alongside his sister Scarlet Witch and his father Magneto. Uh, he eventually reformed and redeemed himself which led him to become an Avenger and also an X-Men. <clears throat> uh, Quicksilver's mutant ability is uh, super speed. Um, if I remember, or at least when I used to read comic books, his max speed was between 175 and 200. Uh, let's see. And down to the figure. Alright, uh, this figure came out in the Blob series. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Blob series. <laughs> in which, of course, he came with a Build-A-Figure piece. Um, let me see. I know that some people usually automatically think that uh, just because it's it was produced by Hasbro that uh, it's not a good figure but believe it or not this mold excluding the head uh, was actually a toy biz mold before um, Hasbro took over and uh, yeah just because it was made by Hasbro doesn't always mean that the mold was produced by them originally but, uh, anyway for the figure itself this figure's got 40 points of articulation. It's uh, the same body mold minus the head as as the Giant Man series Havoc. Um, take away the hands, and I'm pretty sure they use the same body for Captain Marvel. Uh, let's see, as most Marvel Legend figures have, you got basically nine points of articulation on the f on the legs. You know, the detail on him is a little bland, but he does look very comic book accurate. Um, that hairstyle looks pretty cool. Like he's running through, they're running really fast, and you see the wind going through his hair. Um, nice little detailing with the, with the lightning paint job right there. And, uh... Overall, the detail, detail I'd probably have to give an 8 to. Articulation is definitely a 10. Uh, quality, quality I'll give it a 10. Availability, uh, this particular Hasbro Wave was pretty easy to find, so that's definitely a 10. So overall, the figure, figure itself is, is a good 9. And, uh, there's that. And he also has a variant. It's a green Quicksilver. There we go. He actually had the green outfit in the comic books before the blue one. I myself have... I've got several Quicksilver figures. Um, one for my Brotherhood. One for my Avengers. I'm almost pretty sure at one time he was he was a defender, as well as one to put in with my X Factor team or X Men. And uh, I guess that's basically it uh, on my little review on Quicksilver. Like I said, overall I give him a nine. I sort of wish that the there was a, a second variant on him where he had like a instead of instead of having a just one kind of blue there he actually had like a dark blue on one half and a light blue on the other or something like that sort of his uh, late 90's outfit 
But, uh, yeah, that's basically uh, my review on Quicksilver again. Alright, thanks for watching.